Beach King, baby. Ah, welcome back to Beach King Stunt Racer. I'm in Sedic. With me again is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And Tyler Lasagna. Howdy, y'all. Um, so yeah, at the start of part two, I'm just showing that you can go to explore mode and check out a area that maybe you haven't gotten to yet in Beach King mode, so if the, you know, time limit and whatever's tripping you up, then go to explore mode and figure out where the diamonds are. But once again, we're going to Bali, we're gonna pick a uh, second character, and, you know, he's gonna be riding Damn. the beaches of Bali. Um, I explained most things about the game last time, but I didn't actually explain how I learned about this. Um, and that is by the uh, Extreme Sports Wiki, headed up by Roman Guyvin, who has been in a couple of my stream chats and is developing, yeah, this wiki that I'll link in the description. Wow, but, that's really cool. Yeah, like, such a comprehensive list of Extreme Sports games that I discovered one, this, that I did not know existed at all. And then I looked it up and I was just blown away by what I saw. I had to get my hands on a copy. The playable way, you know. Yeah. Ah, all that. All right. Um, oh, and also, this a little more about this game. This game was developed by Davalex and published by Deep Silver, apparently. Deep uh, Silver, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Davil Davalex. You may know them as the developers of the top-selling London Racer franchise, according to IGN. So, you mean like the franchise that I've never heard of? Right, <laughs> I've never heard of London Racer. It was top-selling. Yeah, among top -selling. Among games named London Racer, uh -huh. theirs were the best, or rather only, right. ones. Right, yes. So congrats yes. to them, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they got to London Racer before anyone else. Other games just had to set their racing game in London or have London be a part of it, but it couldn't be a real London Racer. Um, let's see, anything else? Well, you know, I was originally going to, going to mock this review, but uh, you guys appear to be feeling pleasurable towards the game, so Gross. I will say that... that made me feel very uncomfortable. I wish okay. you hadn't put that. <laughs> what word should I have said? Uh, I think pleasurable's good. Aroused? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. You feel aroused by the game. Turned so, on? Uh, I just want to say that GamePressure.com gave Ooh. Beach King Stunt Racer a 7.9 out of 10. Okay, I wouldn't say it's that good. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's, that's almost an 8. That's like literally almost... That's... Yeah. That's just two points shy of perfect. Right. Um, I guess while I'm thinking of things, the other other the only other thing I can think of is that I'll try I'll be trying to show this off, but it's really hard to get in half pipes. If you like keep spinning, but first do like a flip and then a barrel roll, it'll be like a it'll, it'll you know how they're like tsunami or earthquake or hurricane. It'll combine those to be like earth and wind combo, wind and fire combo. Of course, then you'll do another 180 and the game will turn your trick into just 360 roll or something and you'll never know you did it. But, <sighs> yeah. Alright, Bali. Bali's a little more wide open, but it's got a little more going on with the with the ramps. With the ramps. In there. Tyler, take a look in the qu top corner there with the frozen clock. I think that's a neat little effect, don't you? Yeah, it's like melting away, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, I yeah. think there are lots of things going on in the UI that I think are kind of cute or fun. Like, the game is clearly kind of arcadey and it has its own style. I'm just not sure the style is good. I think the sounds and the, the gameplay match like perfect to be that kind of arcade yeah. kind of extreme game. I really like... like This could definitely be an arcade game, not just a, a home console game. Yeah, like if you were, if you went to, I don't know, like Dave and Buster's, I could see playing yeah. this and like being like, okay, yeah, this is pretty fun. Yeah. Although, usually those arcade games tend to be a little bit faster paced and you would have to like put more coins in in order to get more time or something like that. You know? Yeah. Um, but, you yeah. know, that'd be kind of, it could be fun. It would, I think it would be more fun if it was like 
make like I think if you really wanted to make a really good arcade experience, you would make it so like two players could play at the same time, and you were like racing to see how many, whatever you know like. There's like 20 diamonds across the level, and everybody's you know, both players are trying to collect the most diamonds. And like, there's like a girl in the middle of the screen who's like leaning <laughs> towards one guy, leaning towards the other guy, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, you know, like yeah. something like that. Um, so it was a while ago, and you guys might have missed it. But did you notice when I went off that big jump? Well, one, I barely got a good. Like leap yeah, off that was of it fucking because awful. I bounced so fucking much right before. But did you notice that my trick text was kind of in a darker blue? Yes. And it said like out of lagoon. This level has gaps. Like the first level did not have any gaps at all. But there, this level has gaps. Like the fucking Tony Hawk game. Like what? Like there's. <laughs> so this level has gaps. Do other levels in this game have gaps? I. I think the third area might have one, but I can't remember it exactly off the top of my head. But I hmm. know, like, St. Tropez Harbor, well, I don't believe has any gaps. Weird. So, so, yeah, it's it's really weird. It's like... And this level has a lot more time freezes. This area has a lot more time freezes. Uh, yeah. St. Tropez Harbor really only had the one. So... Do you yeah. think they intend you to go through, like, St. Tropez Harbor all the way through and then go through this area or is it like they expect you to do first levels first level first level second 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 third 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 per region i don't know on one hand it does kind of guide you to go to area two uh after beating area one of, uh-huh. uh you know i need to decide on if it's levels in an area or areas of a level you know, I think it's I think levels, levels in an area, area because each area is like yeah. right now you like Saint Tropez Harbor isn't uh, isn't the level right? That's a region that you go to, and yeah, then there's like three region. three yeah. levels in a region, mm-hmm. and each girl is I guess in one region. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just need to say them right. But yeah. uh, however, this got kicked off. Um, like oh yeah when you know when you finish a level in a region the like the first option is to go to next level oh i see in that same region but yeah so this guy's signature <laughs> trick is the jamaican samba and that was yeah 6500 points if if you do it fully oh <laughs> a little thing about this game every time you land a trick there's kind of like a whoosh sound effect mm. which I swear, when I was streaming this game for the first time, obviously I didn't have it on full volume, but I kept thinking that was vindictive, like, sighing in relief that I landed something, <laughs> finally, because I had a lot of trouble, like, actually landing anything first time I played this game. So I kept being like, bro, come on, it was not that hard. And he's like, what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> so I just had to, like, listen in, and yeah, there's like a whoosh sound effect, like, when you land. It's kind of weird, but... No. Um, I know we didn't get a good look at all the babes, but anybody got an early favorite babe? This one. Me too. There you go. Out of Lagoon, like been... Well, I, I, have you seen uh, Babe Three? Not as in like a. Have you seen Babe? No, three? I. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you'll see. Once you'll you see get your eyes on Babe Three, maybe I'll change your tune. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you'll 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 see her at the end of this. Yeah, no, I I don't know. She this girl seemed pretty cute though. Yeah, I, I like this one out of the three that I saw. Uh, in this episode. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see Babe three. Maybe we'll see her in, in this. Uh, yeah, I like I that you can be... choose Babe and characters separately. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. They kind of call them arenas. Arenas <laughs> of levels. Serena. Oh. Uh, but I think uh, you know I think. We'll Do you just fade the, the black here? Or? No, no, no. I mean, we've got like two more minutes because. Okay. Uh, oh, because still only got I'm going to show off that high score mode. Hmm. Uh, literally, like, is just um, you know same same areas, same levels, but the score you have to get is more than in Beach King mode because you don't need to get the diamonds. Now you huh. only have the high score challenge. Okay. Um, and actually the diamonds will still be there, 
but they'll just be points increases. They'll give you like 2,000 points if you go and get them. But if you really want to, you know, sh do the sickest combos and do your sick combo montage video, you can go to high score mode. Yeah. Um, also, I guess uh, you might have heard the guy, the announcer, say like, maximum multiplier a bunch. Yeah, the max multiplier is times three. Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah. So, no, you're not going to pull off million point combos in Beach King Stunt Racer. You're going to do like a backflip and a spin, bounce like like you're made of rubber, tur do another like spin and try to correct yourself and get that three times multiplier. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But high score mode is here as well. I guess. Well, well no. Maybe it's like the more diamonds you collect, it's like first is a thousand, second is two thousand, but like, I don't care. I, that's not going to be like, I'm going to, you know, double the amount of videos because I'm going to go through high score mode as well. Like, I'll probably just run through it. And if you get anything for winning it, I'll show off. But oh, no. Or do I just fade to black? Ah, well, we'll have to see uh, character three and babe three next time. Yeah, we'll see. Beach King Stunt Racer. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.